Make a hot cuppa and relax. It's Afternoon Karak with Aisha Al Mazmi and Mikhail Atia. So if there is one thing the UAE has an abundance of, it is an abundance of talented young people. And I'm talking to a very cool person right here. She is an illustrator, an Emirati illustrator. She is Moza Hamrani, and I've actually spoken to her sister Aisha Hamrani not too long ago. How are you doing, Moza? I'm doing great. Happy Hopefully National Day. You guys are doing well as well. Oh, we're doing great too. We're Happy celebrating National Day too. Have- Happy National Day. We're celebrating it and we're so excited to be talking to you right now. So first off, what are you in the sense like, we know everybody knows what an illustrator is, but what do you do in particular? What have you been doing the past couple of years? Um, well, I started off doing a lot of fan art, to be honest, because I was obsessed with Space Toon and all of these cartoons I used to watch as a kid. And then as I advanced with my craft, I started creating my own uh, characters. I started like coming up with things off of the top of my head. Um, and that's where I found uh, myself more trying to create something that's not there. That's the power of being an illustrator, I feel. Um, currently, I'm experimenting with other things that does feature a bit of illustration, but is, isn't necessarily traditional like drawings. Uh, so I'm, I'm exploring that area right now. And do you feel that the UAE has helped you in your craft? Does the UAE have a the perfect landscape for artists such as yourself to grow? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's starting off from my education, to be honest. Like I, just by being an Emirati citizen, I managed to get uh, free education at a university, like an, with an excellent arts program. So that's one. Two, it's a very ripe ground for the artistic community right now. I mean, we're just around the corner of the art season where a lot of things are happening. So there's constantly something going on uh, in the art scene. There's um, and, and different levels, like from comic sort of events to design events to more contemporary arts events. So it's, it's really brilliant to see um, how much effort the country is putting into like promoting and creating such events. Can you tell me some of the events that you have participated in in the UAE? I mean, I, I was a regular exhibitor at the Middle East Film and Comic Con. That's when I first like experienced the rush of showcasing my work publicly. Um, I've been otherwise showcasing my work strictly online. But through the Middle East Film and Comic Con, I was able to turn my work into merchandise and products. And um, I showcased there for like three or four years in a row, I believe. Um, I was recently um, uh, involved with the Sheikha Salama Foundation. I'm, uh, uh, I guess I can say now an alumni of the uh, Emerging Artist Fellowship, otherwise known as Sif. Uh, as Sif. Uh, there's a show currently happening at Warehouse 41 in Abu Dhabi featuring an installation that I have done. And what legacy do you want to leave behind as an artist, as an Emirati artist, especially for other young Emirati girls who are watching you or listening to you right now? <laughs> well, it's um, we are a very young country, so it's, it's, uh, it's the time to make impact um, in the scene, in the art scene, and in the cultural scene. So, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, all I want is to just like shape the artistic scene in one way or another. Um, especially as um, as young Emirati creatives, it's like our ground right now to like shape the scene. And what is the Emirati art scene? I have seen a lot of things happening here and there, but how do you define it? What is going on there? Honestly, it's. Um, while it can feel exclusive at some times, um, a lot of people are very welcoming. I mean, you can just simply show up at art events and eventually like you'll, people will start recognizing you and remembering you just by showing um, showing yourself at these events. And it's uh, I feel it's important to be present in such events, even if you are not an artist per se. Um, just to be in, in the know of whoever's around. Let's say you have a project in the future, you want to be aware of like the people around you in that area. Um, there are like a few art hubs 
in uh, different Emirates. I mean, in Sharjah, you have the Sharjah Art Foundation, Maraya Art Center. Uh, Dubai is full of stuff like the design district, Sirkal Avenues, and then there's also Abu Dhabi. So there are like different art hubs in different Emirates, and I would recommend you keep on the loop with all the different events happening and try to attend as much as you can, just so you can get a better idea of the scene here. It's very exciting, actually. It sounds incredibly exciting. I have been to an exhibition or two, and I think I should visit a lot more because, like you say, you're describing it as a very inclusive place, dis despite it appearing very exclusive. And where do you see those spaces? What do you see in the future? How do you envision the UAE, whether it's within the art scene or even beyond that? I mean, again, we're a very young country, but we've moved forward so fast. It's almost it's almost insane how like fast we've grown. I don't know, like in 50 years, am I gonna see flying buildings or like flying cars <laughs> on the highway? Who knows? <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see where we're gonna be going. Like in 50 years, maybe I wouldn't be able to carry myself, but <laughs> man, I hope I hope I live long enough to see um, how much more progress can we achieve. Absolutely. And this is a very important question. Hope you're ready for this one. How are you celebrating National Day? It's better have the um, involved. Better have a what? The involved. The of Obviously, the game <laughs> has to be involved. Um, my family likes to go all out. They do like outdoor celebrations with like decorations and stuff, barbecuing. Um, like they dress to the nines in like traditional clothing. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully I'll be joining one of the family like events. But we all need to be safe. I mean, celebrate safely. <laughs> exactly, celebrate safely and taking care of each other because we are living through very special circumstances. Thank you so much, Moza. Do you have any parting words to any young Emirati who are interested in pursuing art in the UAE? Again, um, like my, my number one advice to most people is to network. Um, tr try to be present at art events and uh, exhibition openings. I know it might be a bit daunting in the beginning, but I mean, if it's something you're clearly passionate about, you want to be there physically in these uh, showcases. You want to talk to the people involved. So yeah, be physically present as much as you can while staying safe, wear your masks, wash Absolutely. your hands. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Moza, for joining us today on this special occasion. We will be taking a short break and continuing with our conversation on this super cool day. So stay tuned. If you liked this episode of Afternoon Karak, drop a like and subscribe. Pulse 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.